Hey, welcome back, Commander. Oh, another skirmish. The fearless German army. Uh, we fully intend to capture and destroy a place called Mumeyev Kurgan. Now, the only Kurgan I know is Victor Kurgan from uh, Highlander. There can be only one, the Kurgan. Better to burn out than to fade away him. So I don't know where this is, but uh, we're going to conquer it nonetheless. There's all these beautifully reinforced Soviet villages and defences. Seem to be wiped off the map entirely by our glorious offensive doctrine, German army. Yeah. So another offensive doctrine, as in keeping with all my skirmishes so far. The reasons <laughs> still being the same. Um, I'm going for a fast speed run. So I've got I'm having lots of tanks. Speed run, do it all with tanks. Yeah, if you believe that, you believe anything. But that's certainly what I'm going to try, as per usual. Now, uh, the first unit I've ordered appears not to be a tank. Uh, Let's see what it is. It's what I get instead of a tank killer. I get some artillery. There you go. Offensive doctrine. That's my tank. All right. Now, this is quite a nice looking map. Look at it with all these um, these hills with these little gullies in them. So I could, for example, stick mortars right up below that ridge and they'd be able to cover me without getting shot up. Brilliant. And there's a it looks like there's one for every line that I'm going to be capturing. So I'm liking that a lot. I think it's a good uh, good geography in my favour. Got a couple of units of infantry that we start with. There's the uh, starting expensive unit, which I've probably got three. Is this big artillery piece. I just can't resist. Yeah, I don't know if you can, but I can't resist a big gun and I'll stick him down the center so that he can fire on both sides you know he can cover the whole left to right of the map now first two targets are pretty close red zones are on that second ridge line you see the trench lines there uh, that's where we're headed uh, I'll be bringing Just this artillery to start with. What's this little fellow? Machine gun car. I'm bringing my troops up, and it, there's no chance that we're going to catch any of the enemy with our defensive flat cannon. We're going to have to do it all ourselves. Um, but it's going to be so super fast, because you know me, I never take hours. Uh, and as per usual, I will edit out things like sitting around waiting for a captured vehicle or a repair, paired vehicle vehicle to be repaired or that artillery piece to be marched along the top of the map I'll just kind of I'll warn you when I'm doing it and, uh, and I'll get rid of those bits snip it out otherwise um, it's about two odd hours of games play and I'd like to reduce it to you know the more watchable the better if I could get these things down to 45 minutes to an hour I'd be like well hey but I think truthfully that's the wrong game this is the wrong game to uh to do that i've seen other videos um that i liked where they've you know people have just kind of stripped out most of the most of the game and just showing the highlights and stuff but i like to give you pretty much every every decision or click so if i'm moving a unit up to a trench line i want you to see me at least click them into that trench line um so you can see what i'm thinking you're doing now occasionally i'll just get too bored watching it and i'll be oh excuse interruption look at that artillery first shot I don't know if he killed anyone but that's exactly where i want him shooting um yeah so i want you to, to i want to at least tell the story of what moves i'm making what decisions i'm taking uh as when and why and occasionally the game will just get overrun and i'll have to fast forward and, you, and you'll miss me spawn a few units and move them up to the line uh, but I'll try and keep that to a minimum and the balance um, yeah, at the same time I don't want to show every absolute single second because I think sitting there waiting five minutes while my tank gets repaired is bad TV I, you know 
nothing else is going on, not any enemies on the map. Why do we have to watch all that? It's bad enough waiting for it the first time when I played it through. So this guy should pop up here, might give me some line of sight, draw some fire. And look how close I can get down in these gullies. So this is kind of, you know, where I want to place mortars, if I even need mortars with this massive artillery. But I do love mortars and they do really, uh, especially when you get a big concentration, when you've got like four or five mortars, it really stops the enemy infantry zergs dead. They just disappear as fast as they appear. Um, there's a lot of fire control to a serious mortar battery. It's been a few days since I played this between playing and recording, between recording and um, processing it, which we're doing now, changing its format so it's YouTube friendly and uh, talking you through it, adding a voiceover. I'm still not convinced people actually want to hear my voice and all the nonsense I talk. Not at some point I'll put a little um, questionnaire up and see and get people to give you some feedback on whether they prefer no commentary videos to be waffling on tediously. I don't know. Uh, you know, I generally don't know which people prefer. No voiceover is obviously much easier for me to make. I did a, a Batman series and started doing the voiceover and then uh, I noticed that it's a really well told story and the video gameplay is a storyline with voice acting all the way through and it just I'm getting in the way. It just doesn't need me. It's just telling the story itself. So this spawn point is cannon. Okay, let's go and get a cannon. I want a better tank, but I'll settle for a cannon. How close can we get? Now, although that first trench line is in sight of the um, you know sniper and the artillery, over the ledge of it, over the lip of it, anything could be there. We haven't got line of sight and we won't have until we jump in that trench. And we can expect at the very least machine gun positions there like that one we've just blown up or at least decrewed. That'll probably be back in action soon. And hopefully as soon as it pops up again the Artillery will slap it right down again, and that's a pretty effective artillery so far the hits have been Pretty close to where he's been aiming and it's a big enough uh, It's a big enough bang. It's a big enough splash damage For it to be pretty damn effective and pretty quickly. I like them. I want more of these So that machine gun has been remanned. They haven't shot it back down yet. Go on fire the shot Where's it gonna land? Didn't get, the, didn't get the machine gun. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that artillery. I think that's a good starter unit. There you go. Boom. Decrude the machine gun again. I assume if you direct hit it, it'd be gone. But, uh, and this trench is this centre trench lines between us and the left flank capture point. They're capturing the left and the right. Uh, the middle seems to be the key to it. Again, it's not proven problematic. No deaths. No deaths, plenty of movement. Things are moving at a pace. Talking of pace, um, my p release, p the pace of my releases is going to slow down radically over summer. I'm going to be just dropping off one a week, um, and the reason is I'm away for work, so I'll be uh, my time off will be few and far between. So I hope you still bear with me. I hope you still subscribe. Uh, there'll still be enough uh, videos there for you to find something you're interested in. I'll be doing all the skirmish maps and then I'll go on to uh, some mods. But I, and then, you know, at the, at the speed of one a week, by the time I've done all the skirmishes, we're talking 
two or three months from now. There's other other games coming out this year that I'm interested in following. Um, there's some other series I want to do. I want to do a War Thunder um, Eye in the Sky series with realistic, you know, with historical battles. Um, but there's some other real-time strategies I want to play. There's a new Homeworld coming out, Homeworld 3. I want to definitely spend some time with that. Uh, I really enjoy Homeworld. Um, and what else was there? There's obviously Men of War, the next version of Men of War. When, as and when that comes out. I mean, assuming it still will. Uh, Men of War actually being at war. I don't know how many of them have been conscripted. The devs are actually available to work. But yeah, assuming that that's not strangely delayed and no one could blame them if it was. Uh, I think it's an anti-tank gun coming up here. Yeah, I want to play that. And I don't know what the release dates are, but they're likely to... Um, that may change my planned schedule. So unfortunately, I do have to do some work and earn some money this year. Uh, you, of course, had helped me towards my goal of doing some work on YouTube and earning some money doing these by liking and subscribing. I got the blag in early this time. Normally, that's the very last thing I say on the video when I finally remember I'm supposed to blag you all. But uh, consider yourself blagged. I think we can take the middle trench. I think we can get in there. I don't know what's left in there. It's like steps, isn't it? This map. Like kind of each ridge line is higher than the last. It's not. It's not a, a ditch as such. It's a step up. artillery we've got an anti-tank um, I can't see what other cannon type thing I've ordered maybe a flat gun that'd be my style but to be honest with you I think we should just have a buttload I think we should have all the three of the starter artilleries and an anti-tank and a sniper <laughs> and just watch and just to go for a zero casualties game it's slow it's slow inexorable death of all the enemy without them even getting a shot off without them ever seeing what's shooting at them so we've got here's my gun line move that, move that up to there And we've captured the first first capture point. Hence we've got, I guess, hence we've got the uh, anti-tank cannons. I guess that's where it came from. I tend not to notice when we capture the points. I leave the troops in there. And then if all the enemy troops die while they're in there, then it changes hands. And uh, as I said, it's not often a, a moment I'm consciously aware of. It's kind of... The artillery spam does it, completes the capture while well, I'm not paying attention to it. Let's see if we can get some troops behind this pillbox so they can shoot in through the door. And that's the next line we're after and it looks like it's going to be trouble. There's some armour in there. At the minimum, there's some armour. Don't seem very keen to kill the guy in the pillbox. So I don't just want to sit there and get shot by their tank. I'll move back for a minute. <coughs> I 
<coughs> oh, I don't just want to sit there and get shot by the tanks, but I'm still sitting there, just getting shot by the tank. By the looks of it, he's run out of line of sight and he can't shoot me anymore. But they're still in range. Yeah, he's still shooting. Oh, spring is here. Some greenery on the trees. Here comes our flat gun. That's going to be um, more useful. At the moment, I'm using the the jeep with the machine gun on it for fire control for a gun group. But it's a bit underpowered, isn't it? A bit less sexy than usual. So here's the ammo truck. We'll get him to pick this up. Get him to ship it out. Going for the fastest possible. Okay, so teleport to the back of the truck and we'll slap him up here and it's going to be our gun line and a bit later on we'll st perhaps stick another gun line on the right hand side as we can afford one there's definitely a tank up there so the more anti-tank we've got the better and as I say this kind of heavy artillery is dealing with all the infantry. It's not like I really need an anti-infantry gun that much. It's not a lot of work for it. So I set my first defensive formation in my offensive doctrine. Uh huh. Where are my tanks? Just saying. Where are my tanks? Small hint there. You know, I'd be in there by now. Mind you, don't know he's got a tank in there. I wouldn't be in there right now. Uh, if I had tanks, if I did, they'd be blown up. So it's probably time to get some sniper out there, get some line of sight, and see if we can spot that tank and see if any of our gun group is able to, it's got the range to deal with it. He's going to get shot at her though, so I might lose my sniper. Alright, there's a tank up there, don't know what kind, probably just a little tankette. Touching by the, anyone shoot him? No, yes, no. No, not even the artillery has range on that. So it's time to advance our line. Essentially, that's not good enough. They haven't got, they're doing nothing, doing nothing there. It's having a tea break. So let's stick him somewhere a lot more aggressive. I'm thinking smack in the middle behind those trenches would be quite nice. Could start here, he's got lots of cover behind that ridge. You know, you can indirect fire, that's quite a good way to attack a tank, except that he's not really the right weapon system for a tank. Really, I'd like the uh, you know, the pack, the anti tank, this fella, to do that job. Oh, 
line on him. Apparently not. Got range, has he got line of sight? I don't think he does. Nice shot, mate. You are, uh, you certainly hit. Um, yeah, great shot. trying. <clears throat> um, we could probably bring up the rest of this stuff while we wait. Oh, it's only a diddler. I'm going to hit with that. Should finish it. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm going to send the inventory. I still think there's a machine gun turret on the far left of the trench line. That's where the bullets are coming from now. But I noticed the artillery was quite happy to shoot at it, so. Let's hope it's still in the mood. Okay, that's a uh, game changer in their lives. And as soon as possible, I'll get my infantry inside the red capture zone. Start trying to take it. Zone captured. All right, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Uh, we'll just stay in that trench and hold it from there. And if anything wants to come on, that's fine. Um, and here's our first tank. Better late than never. There's an infantry tank. Oh no, it's not the first tank. It's our first. Another one of those big artilleries. That'll do nicely. Tank, artillery. What's the difference? Um, and they are low, you know, they've got range to at least cover what I'm trying to hold. It's not exactly very aggressive at this point, but it's certainly able to hold what we've got. I might should want to capture that tank, repair it, make it ours. That'll be our first tank. <laughs> Here's the crew. Up you go, lads. So there, we use that for anti-tank or something. Was 
it's fairly central. I mean, it's directly between the two capture points. And I'll, that'll have to do as our central point. Send the truck back to pick up the other RT and bring him up. And get to work on upping a defensive line. Now I might uh, fast forward while we do that and show you the end result. Hang on a second. Here we are. Now oh, something's firing. What's going on? Ah, oh, we've bumped a gun. The guys repairing the tank have annoyed that gun. Luckily, it's in artillery range and it's not going to live through it. Quite a lot of firepower. Ready to punish that one. Yes, how did you like that? Next time, surrender earlier. They killed someone. Damn them. It's supposed to go the other way around. Enforcements have arrived. So on medic, see if you can heal that guy. We don't need to lose anyone at this early. Let alone both of those guys. I think I can get one more of these artillery guns uh, when I save up 400. And although it's slow us down right at the beginning, um, any advances we make under the cover of that barrage are going to be, you know, easy, much easier. That's going to be our flank base. That's all that there is for firepower at the moment, it's just that tank. But uh I'll have to do oh, the guy I went to heal died. Bled out before we got there. Seconds before we got there. Never mind. So I'll leave him as a trapdoor spider, like hiding behind the uh hiding behind the building. And if I need to pop him out, that's what we'll do. Or if any fool runs past him. That's good too. I've uh, got them as front view. I, I mean, why not? It's not optimum. I prefer to have them ideally at the back of my captured zone. You know, where the anyone trying to retake it has to go through all the artillery spam before he even meets them. But uh, it's not very, not very aggressive, and we do want to open up as much line of sight as possible so the artillery can do their work. Oh, what units did we go for? Ammo and officer. Guy with some binoculars. Stand at the front of that RT. Now I pretty much feel that each of those cannon artillery cannons deserves his own ammunition man. And they deserve their own spotter. Uh, central one gets me tanks. On the right gets me probably more tanks. And once again, there's a dip, so I could put all my artillery in that. Play that sort of cliff face, if that's what you want to call it. And they'd be most happy there. Not getting shot and being in range. That's some withering indirect fire. So this is another officer. He's going to come there and do his binocular thing.
I've been experimenting. At the moment I'm experimenting with officers. I think my end conclusion is that I prefer snipers, two snipers to an officer and a sniper, or one sniper to an officer. I think really once you give them the same price and the sniper actually shoots stuff and the officer doesn't. Hmm. Uh, well, no, what was the point of the sniper? Of the officer, rather. And then let's uh, advance time towards the next contact and see what's going on. So let's open the map up a bit more. So the officers got through. Ah, and they found the front line of the of the next capture point. Is that an artillery range? Yes, it is. Oh, oof. I think that was an uh, oof. And I'm convinced that it's time that we are going to need to move everything up to the next ridge line. All the artillery. I mean, I know it's got the front row, but I want to get the front row and the back row. And everything in between. Have we had a counter-attack? I don't feel like we have. I don't feel like any armour has come in here, down here since we've captured these two points. Maybe they're just taking ages to get here because they're a long way away. Oh, ah, talking of which, perhaps this is it. He's surviving it. Well, he's not having a good time, is he? They're not the guys in there are not laughing and cracking jokes. Oh, there's mortar. Sneak that mortar in. Quite a big flat gun, that one. Forty-seven millimeter, probably not twenty, and not eighty-eight. Smack in the middle. So we've got the mortar. We'll try and sneak it. We'll try and do a sneak advance with him. Get him basically where that tank is. And now I want some tank crew, given that that's looking so ready. We could probably get infantry in this bottom trench, on this trench at the top, but I'll try and speak. We could probably get infantry in this trench at the bottom of the screen here, like, to cover some tank crew fixing that with a mortar ahead of that, under their cover as well. If I was bold, I'd just sweep my artillery straight into that ditch. get it on. So this is some kind of pack. I think that's a good hill for a fire team. Fire base on this on this little high point here inside our territory. We've got nothing really to stop any armour up that side, so here it comes. Field guns. So that's kind of that's got high X as well as anti tank. That fella. Well, the other one's like a high velocity, just anti tanked. Well, predominantly anti tank. I think I've misclicked, and this isn't offensive doctrine. <laughs> Maybe that's been happening. Maybe the reason I've been complaining we haven't got tanks is I haven't been clicking the right button. Yeah, 
possible. But, you know, I'm claiming innocence. No, me? Make a mistake? Never! Impossible. Unbelievable. This is our last uh, tank man left over from the other tank. He didn't fit in it. Go down there and start crewing up. Well, I'd... Yeah, I could get artillery. I could get artillery in there. And it'd be... They're not dying, are they? Mind you, if they had a mortar, just splashed it all into it, or charged their tank, I'd be in trouble. And here comes their tank. Not to live very long, this tank. It's made a mistake. Big mistake. Got mortar, land right on his head. Yeah, yeah, missed. So, obviously in a recon squad here, obviously, guess what their job is? Queue up targets for that firebase, it's the uh, officer's job. Recon squad's job is to keep line of sight on the new capture point target and to give fire support and cover to the tank man fixing up that tank. And these two jobs, these two guys should be able to stop a tank that comes the same way as the last one. That's an artillery, that's not a pack. So we've got an empty tank and, oh, I don't know what it is. I shut my mouth. Oh, I saw that. Good, good. He found a target. Nice one. And you're dealing with it. Okay, there's no one there. They don't seem to be an artillery range, though, do they? Big guns aren't firing. We need to have to bring the big guns up. They deserve to be in this hidey there. Oh, they are in range, look. Got the little tank online. Pretty aggressive spot. Might leave him exactly there. Yeah, now that I know the map a bit more, that's not nearly aggressive enough positions as I 
do now. Having said that, last time I tried that, I replayed the map, thought, you know, now I know where to put some really aggressive positions, and they changed it all. You know, there's a kind of random placement of where the enemy's equipment was, enemy's emplacement guns and stuff like that, so it's not necessarily going to work the same each time. Still going to have to feel it out a bit. And presumably, once I've played it a good few times, like in the original skirmishes in Men of War 2, Assault Squad 2, um, you know, there'll be, it's only going to be in one of three places, and I'll know where all of those are to start with. Come on, Trapdoor Spider, take him out. Or oh, no, or oh, don't take him out. Yeah, that's better. He's so willing enough to shoot at him. Good. So whatever's coming in on the right, that red cheese, that armoured that lorry is going to get cannoned. Well, there's a lorry, there's eight troops to come. Or ten, or whatever it is that comes in the back of the shop. It's always troops. They're getting cut up here. It's not working out for them. retreating thing uh, but a two gun squad two guns are better than one loot that if not just for the repair comes another one into he can't survive that spot look at all the other dead vehicles there mate what are you doing well, I'm so glad he's trying to survive that but uh it's a bad plan Talking to bad plans, I'm not completely happy with my sit back and squash everything with artillery plan. I think it's singularly unoffensive doctrine. But let's keep extending the gun line. I always want to have overwhelming firepower. It just makes such it makes it so much easier. So I stick that flak up here with this fire base, um, and then it's got anti-infantry. As you can see, infantry are coming at it, so it wouldn't hurt to be able to take care of it on its own. We've got to get, essentially we're going to have to go over to the right to capture that next point, so let's start working towards it now. Nibbling away across the map, bit by bit. So a new flat gun, found an infantry to kill. We get officer up there, have a look from that bush, see if you see anything other than just leaves. found. 
can. Can I machine gun? I bet there's more. So we haven't had any mortar attacks yet, so that's got to happen soon. Talking to mortars, let's uh, bring this guy over. See if we can't get in range to mortar that. I'll put the ammo truck down here and we'll make that up an advanced mortar point. So I'm bringing him there, I mean, it's not very aggressive at the same time, it is well behind uh, our defences. You know, they've got that fire base overwatching them. Shouldn't be able to get slapped. And in the end, these mortars will do the job. Nice, nice. Glad that worked out so well. Kind of want to trap to a spider them. Don't want them to either. You know, I don't want a flipping tiger to roll down there. Pop both of them for a laugh. Or a T-34 or whatever it is the enemy has. Mortars have got rid of the cannon and the machine gun but on the right hand base and these two tanks should just rip through that squad of infantry this line. It's time. Again, so far, I think it's going quite well. Hope you agree. No real big surprises here. Uh, except that I can't, don't, don't, don't blow it up, don't blow it up, don't blow it up. Yes. Oh God. Come on, that's better. Uh, 
Right, finally I've drawn some balls. I've got big hairy balls now. I'm going to advance them, I mean, right up to this. That should surely give them range over the entire of that entirety of the base we're trying to capture. And the mortars, I feel as well, could move up another valley, another little, up to the next low ground, a few inches up the map. It's the final artillery piece. I've spawned him. Bring him up to join him with them. Now, if I bring those tanks, if I bring those troops up to that trench there, you can see that the vehicles attacking are reaching that point, are well within range to shoot at it when they come down here before I blow them up. So either I have to move this firebase forwards so that you can blow them up earlier, or I have to expect casualties. shooting out of the trench I was trying to put people in instantly getting the casualties I was expecting. I think the mortars are working on him though, that cannon shouldn't be there for long. Oh look, that's a massacre. Lost a whole group of infantry doing that one. Got a medic somewhere. Yeah, I think uh, it's, I moved there too early. I need to, my right hand fire base with the anti-tank, I think that needs to be moved up to support that trench before I can stick house people in there safely. Come on, medic, hurry up. Chop, chop, save them all. What's <laughs> keeping you? Too many donuts, you can't run very fast. So I think that's the final artillery piece. And yeah, we're not going to get any more of those, so make them last. But there don't seem to be any danger. I could squeeze them up an inch or two, couldn't I, up to the next ridge line, but worry about that when we need to. I've got an extra few minutes of my life. Oh, somebody's bumped the medic. Now I bought this armoured car, not because I wanted an armoured car, just because I didn't know what it was and the icons were so small <laughs> I thought I'd have a look. 
<laughs> this is the second skirmish mission I played. It's um, I don't know the tech trees at all. And I said the icons are so small, the writing so small, I can't see. I'm kind of taking one of everything just to find out what all the items are. I'll be using that excuse uh, quite often. You'll hear me say that again and again and again. It'll be, oh, it's my first day. Oh, yeah. I don't know what this is. So yeah, this gun line I really think needs to move well, well behind where all those dead people are, basically. I think it needs to be there or very close to there so that the tanks that are going in there and just killing everything are, are getting engaged long before. Look at this. Look at this. Where did you think you were going? <laughs> so that's three artillery, two mortars, a flat cannon, an anti-tank cannon, and some other cannon. I'm pretty. Oh, look at it. Yeah. Wow. See how you like it. And you've been ronsoned. Uh, for those of you who aren't English, Ronson is a uh, is a lighter, it's a cigarette lighter, and um, the the Sherman tanks, the the first Sherman tanks, the very first ones, uh, were petrol engines, and famously, when the uh, Germans blew them up in combat, the petrol would ignite, and they'd do that thing where the flame is just raw straight out the top of the tank, like a cigarette lighter. And they they learnt they became colloquially known as Ronsons, named after the gas cigarette lighter. So a tank that does that is Ronsoning. <laughs> Doing a Ronson. Oh, I need ammo. Obviously been having a good party down here. What's been going on, lads? That's any piles of dead bodies around you? What are you shooting at? You're just piddling about. Oh, I quite fancy a range day. I'm gonna. I've got a big pile of ammo to shoot off, like then at nothing. Get my guns all scoped up and more ninja. There you go. Nice cheap bit of ammunition for you. That'll last you. For as long as you need it, and the mortars won't last them very long at all. So here he comes. I'd like it that, you know, to already have been blown up at that point. I'd like this is where I want him to start getting engaged. Rather than zooming down here and blowing up my medic as he tries to cure someone. So I think those mortars can hop along at least one trench line closer. And I just think that's uh Where's my medic and why isn't he? Oh, he's taking the war on. Instead of healing people, he's got his pistol out. Trusty pistol. Uh, see if you can heal that final guy. No, nope, he's just expired. Oh, he healed one guy and I lost track of him. And then that was the end of it. as well. And these guys, let's find some work for them. Yeah, I think the front trench in here, I think we're ready. We need to try and uh, capture that. 
central base. He doesn't want to stand there, does he? Asked him twice. Did he say flat panzer? He did. Dead yet? Taking some hits. Let's keep you guys out of its line of sight for a little bit. at the moment. Look, see he was just trying to run off. What he was trying to do there is run back home again, run back to the start place. It's a frequent thing. It, uh, it's a bug. It happens a lot. It's annoying. It's frustrating because if they actually do it. Yeah, it's frustrating because if they actually do it, um, you know, you've got to get, especially when they do it with like a really slow unit. You move your artillery at walking speed five sixths of the way up the map. It takes 15 minutes. When he gets there, instead of manning and deploying where you told him to he turns around walks all the way back to the start point another 15 minutes then you notice 10 minutes later oh, it's, anyway you know, it's a frustrating bug that one you've got to watch for it they will if you don't be careful the units you spawn and direct to come go all the way to where you directed to them and then run back home what's that all about There's a default position they run to when they come on the map. So I think if you pick them up before they've got there, you know, where the greens are at the bottom of the map, you know, there's a kind of spawn, there's a kind of rally point that newly spawned units will run to. So he's just going to run up to where those greens are if, if left alone now. But now I'm asking him to move or somewhere else. He may not. But yeah, he may do something dodgy. Really got to watch out for that. I see it in the replays. When I'm playing it, you know, I don't notice till they've done it. But when I'm, unless I'm really on the ball, watching, you know, watching the replays, I'm like, what the hell? You know, and I've got time because I'm not micromanaging. In this one, you know, when you're manage, micromanaging a unit that you've got to duck down before the tank squashes him. Or else you'll lose. You haven't got time. And there's another one next to him. Got to do the same. To you haven't got time to see uh, and pay attention to everything that happens on the map. There's too much. You know, you have to rely on the AI to do their things a bit more. So that looks like we're advancing this fire base. Um, and yeah, up to about. It's, it's definitely got to cover that trench. It's not covering very effectively at the moment. 
and also I want to get more uh, more angle on the next base which is on the right which they'll be in charge of dominating too and I think in that case in the case of that one on the right I can steek mortars pretty damn far in and I intend to at the moment look, the artillery's got a good reach and I'll look just the time I move the anti-tank cannons the tank shows up not that that helped it So that must be one of those little uh, artillery cannons, 76 millimeter field guns. I think I kind of there is a big, a strong element of me here trying all the units, not really knowing uh, what I'm getting on a click on it. But we're not losing, so it's not an issue. Saving in progress. Oh, that means we've captured the centre look. So that means we've unlocked some new kind of tank. I don't know whether I'll notice that yet. Given that we're playing offensive doctrine and it's all about tank charges. <laughs> uh, am I really playing offensive doctrine? I just, I mean, I'm doubting myself at this point. <laughs> I was pretty clear when I was doing it that I was deliberately doing all of them defensive. And I remember, you know, and you have to choose at the beginning of the when you launch the map. Maybe I didn't have my glasses on. Eh? I, mean, I don't wear glasses when I'm playing the game. So I have a big screen. So I don't have to. things to play with up there. Just having in placement. Yeah, look, some new tank. What's that then? Let's find out. Let's get that a bit better protected. It's bound to be a fly. It's a. It's a three, is it? A U S. Something or other. <laughs> J H I B C. Don't know. Uh, I've asked before. So I know it's got a 50 millimeter anti-tank gun, but I don't know what model it is. There were, you know, sometimes I do know because I play a game or I use it a lot and and I read it. But uh, see the writing on the icons there. I can't read that. Can you? I've got a I've got a magnifying glass. Maybe I should get one. Oh, the developers for this game just make endless excuses. We don't know how to increase the size of icons. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Would it take you very long to learn? Huh? The answer is no, of course it wouldn't. Lazy. Lazy. More lazy than my Russian engineers. So here we go, look this side we're going to try and take the left. I'm going to do a bit of a flank attack with this fine tank, see if it can survive.
This is where we should have been right from the beginning, charging tanks in. I don't know what we've got uh, in terms of artillery to cover his assault. There's only no infantry to. But at the same time, I mean, it's looking pretty... We've hit lots of stuff up there. I'd expect there to be more infantry, perhaps. Awesome. Now if I move that tank up the top of the hill, tanks like the one that's just shown off on the map will definitely be able to just pop it. I'm not sure I'm ready for that just yet. We've got a mobile artillery down the bottom left look, just spawned in. But that one's drive all the way up to the top of the map and then back home again. Let's drop him off. We've got some decent pack out there. Those guys must surely be low on ammo. They've been fighting on their own up here the whole time. There's an officer. His job will be to highlight the targets for me, to find them, to spot them. Or just be machine gunned and die. I'll see which of the two he chooses. Oh, I had that. So, so this is a stug. Check this out. I've never seen this version of the Stug before, other than in this game. This is a, a very unusual Stug variant. In fact, I might make it, if I can find a picture, I'll make it the thumbnail. Alright, just looked it up. This is a Stug 33B. Apparently that's a 76mm field gun or something. By the way, I've never heard of it or seen it anywhere else, but now I have. so I can get away alive. Thank you. It's chasing me. I'm scared of it. Pretty long range, pretty big landing shot. That might be as powerful as the artillery I'm using. In which case we should have a lot more of them. So we must to go ahead of that tank, take the trenches. I think they're overtaking the centre back. Fat chance of that, boys. 
too much multi spam, like. Probably need a bit of reload. So I'm going to try and advance the line, you know, along here. I'll put the guys in foxholes, but I'm going to try and advance the line on the sort of left edge, maybe along the line of that road. Because there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to advance up there. We won't have as much artillery support, but I don't necessarily think they need it. We've got our own artillery, we've got our own anti-tank cannons, got a couple of light tanks. spot right there wouldn't it? We'll have the truck down behind the hill. We can't get a shot. Tanks on top of him. Cannon on top of him. Bring up the stug. I mean it's in harm's way. They're going to get shot at here. They're not just going to be popping in from the sidelines. It's obviously a much better thing to be doing. My troops, take those foxholes, make them your own. Oh my god, there's lots of them. Look at all them. Machine gun. Let's uh, bring the tank up fast. You should be able to sort all of that out. Catching this gets us another type of tank. I don't know what kind. Maybe I'll find out. Not going to be a tiger, is it? Uh, too early in the war. It could be a Panzer IV, some description. Mm, 
think it's Panzer 3 and Panzer 2. And we've had the best tank with the Stug. So I'm going to move forward up to the next pass, up to and past the next trench line, which is of course when everything will attack. But you know what the hell? That's always the way. Machine gunners, back him up. General advance. Everybody forward, please. That <laughs> stuck, killed the whole lot in one shot. All of them. I'm liking that stug, I want more. I'll be remembering him. Uh, uh. Worries me when they do things like that and they start exploding. Gun lines on the top of the hill. And again, so the pace here hasn't been bad. I, haven't, I don't feel that I've been uh, stymied by anything. I don't think I've been biting my head against a wall. As I said earlier, there are some maps where I'm just, I don't know what to do. You're just slug. You haven't got the gear, I haven't got the resources, I haven't got the and it's just banging my head against a hard point, but this one seems to have been collapsing nicely. I don't know why they didn't just surrender straight off. Save themselves a whole lot of men. Hand casualties haven't been heavy, only under 20 at this point. I haven't really been sitting staring at the map just going hmm shall I shot like hmm shall I shot hmm sometimes that happens doesn't happen on this one I haven't got over how pleased I am with the Stugs. Now I've got two.
Good old medic leading the charge with his trusty pistol. Tip of the spear you are, mate. Now, at some point, now we're, now we're approaching the final line, there's got to be emplacement-wise, like there's got to be artillery, there's got to be something on par with a German 88, a massive cannon that will just slaughter us from big range. And we should start hitting really hard stuff. And I think if get the artillery in close enough, it'll take it all out, but... We really should start encountering stiff resistance of the tank destroying variety. Nice. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh and people die. Had families, people who loved them. And another Stug. I just can't get enough of them. Stug 33B. I know your name. Definitely the star of the show, that one. Even more of the star than that medic doing his suicide charge. Ah, I haven't got range there. Pity. Just move him into range then. He's got wheels. Tracks even. Yeah, put that one up, Mr. Stug. Do your worst. That seems a pretty sexy team. I think they can cope. <coughs> Still a load of KVs coming at them. They might change their minds. I think we'll just keep the advance is going, so we move the infantry up inch by inch. Here's our new front. Bring the arty up to here. Maybe even a bit beyond, maybe halfway down the uh, Compound. Drop 
to do that. Oh, they've remanned it. I think my arty will sort them out this time in a few minutes. Not much point jiggling with the stug. Like see that duck, the stuck came in, drove to where I asked it to drive, turned around, drove home. What the hell? Stay there this time. Right, Artie, take that out. to reman it. It's fine because I want to blow it up. It's pretty lucky isn't it? I mean a lot of shots going in there and nothing's direct hidden. The guys who are trying to fire it aren't very lucky. And the gun itself is doing fine. We'll be getting a foothold in the next trench across that road. Probably just as we get into range to capture that gun, <laughs> our own artillery will destroy it. That's got to be how this one's going to go down. Uh, the left flank really looks like it needs to move forwards. Everything seems to need to move forwards at this point. Could be a general advance incoming. They're not safe there, there's not much covering them. You know, a tank could sit at the back and just wipe them all out and all bunched up. Or a Stalin organ. There might be some kind of Katusha action at the back there somewhere. Some 150, 152, that's what the Russians use, isn't it? 152 artillery. Yeah, that's just lost me two men. They've got a mortar like, up on there. Basically, underneath where the mini map is on the screen. I'm not having a good time here. The mortar's going to get it though. A lot of shots landing on his zone. I'd 
like to keep them you know in range of that gun to shoot anyone tries who tries to reman it Sure, what that was, but we've got it now. Yeah, he'd look pretty good up here, Be useful. sure to do them they're not much use these guys can move up to behind that pillbox oh that big gun's been remanned take it out boys teach them a valuable lesson in who's got the bigger artillery and lots more of it. Cannon's gone. Proper tanks up there and bigger guns, so those diddy Russian ones. And that looks like the next line. So, you want officer can see with his binoculars.
can see why they couldn't move up to the next concrete silo actually. So only this gun line can move up, they really advance. Shuffled them forward a bit. a general advance I've moved and shuffled things a little bit forward we're in range of the next base to attack see how easy it is doesn't look, doesn't look very well defended got a mortar or something in there ah oh, that's an aircraft gun ah. Frag it, frag it. Hold on. I think they're inside the range of the mortar. Hopefully they'll find it and kill it. Look what just blew up all the way over there. What the hell just shot that? Unless it shot itself. This is airstrikes, although it doesn't look like we're going to be able to hold this. There's a whole load of tanks coming in. I don't know, artillery's in range. Lightly target, and if nothing else, it will show us. What do they call it when you when you call artillery down on yourself? <laughs> Code something danger club. I don't know. Uh, you see him do it in the movies. So I've dropped an airstrike on me. All my own artillery is on me. Uh, what's going to happen here? And then I want to keep my eye out as the plane comes over. It's on its way now. There's two planes coming over. Uh, I want to keep. I think one's a strafing run and one's a bombing run. I'll have a try and have a look and see where all the back centre. I think is probably artillery. Oh, that was the strafing run. Didn't do anything to the tanks. Yeah, that's the artillery. Look, look at that. The Stalin hammer. And the bombs are about to go down on the tanks. Still got a guy alive in there. Still calling the artillery on himself. You brave boys. I don't know if one tank get away or he just can't see it because he's hiding. No, you could blame him. Well, I enjoyed that. I don't know about you. I think we need more artillery, that's not enough. Oh, Anti-tank grenade you have. Oh, a suicide run. Just, that wasn't good. Just tank really. There's loads of tanks left. This position, <laughs> maybe we should have just sat still. I 
wonder if that was, I tell you what, that wasn't my artillery. All that artillery, I didn't call it myself, I think that was their artillery and they called it down on themselves. I think that's like you capture that spot and their counterattack is a massive artillery barrage from hell. Yeah, I think that was enemy artillery. I don't think it had anything to do with us. I think my artillery doesn't have range, so it's not still firing on those tanks, for example. It's got plenty of ammo. Yeah, I think they just shot the uh, out of themselves. For my entertainment, all good. I am entertained. Well done. Yeah, look, our artillery is not firing at them now, even though I can see them. So it wasn't our artillery at all. It's our airstrike. I'm of a general forward advance. See you in a second. Actually, wait a minute. There's about to be some gunfire. Yeah, let's call the advance. Alright, we've only time skipped a couple of seconds here because frankly this is too action packed, too hot. Alright, mate. Killed that tank in one shot. These guys are going to try and hold the point, but they really will need to be backed up by or to bring that tank squad. Oh yeah, so have we got some more airstrike action please? Yeah, that should deal with this is super cannon. And there's something right at the back too. Uh oh no, this is it. So let's assume we've got a stem of it coming in. Too busy looking around spotting for targets last time to pay attention to what the plane was or what it was doing. That's big, isn't it? Look at the size of it. Ah, oh, was big. I've got a strafing run to go as well, but. I don't think there's any need. I think that's not there anyway. Maybe here. And look at my dead man. So I mean they're properly degraded but we're not in a strong enough force in that position just yet to pacify it. I want to bring the tanks up. And the stugs. Yes, the stugs. Just what we need. An army of stugs. We've got two more points to capture. It's going to happen.
yeah these boys they only sit behind that they'll keep it nice and safe won't they keep moving artillery up as well everything should be moving forwards Let's have another advance I'll fast forward to the next fighting while we do that all right, a minute or so into the future, we're back. Oh, that's not going to do you much favours when the stugs get there, mate. Yeah, so move them up to the front, get them back into range. Get them to come and back up the mortars. traffic jam Bring up the stug. I love him. Right, so some sort of art he's firing. So slap some infantry in there. So you can be, I'll see be captured. Strike. I don't know why I'm bothering. There's nothing there. At least I we'll get to use it as a spotter plane. As it flies over. Your eyes to peel to the mini map. and looked away and didn't see anything. Where is it? What's happened to the stem of it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the is still there on the mini-map saying it's got an airstrike dialed in. And I saw the plane heading that way and then uh, I blinked and no, I don't know where it is, or what it's doing. And we're going to have a tank rush. That's what happens to the plane. Maybe that anti-aircraft gun got him. I 
and this is looking very close to end game. Two points to take and there's almost nothing between me and the massive armies I've got coming that way. You stragglers. You straggly bits of infantry. Push with the tanks boys, all the way in. That's it. So I think I said right at the beginning, I'm hoping you'll uh, still be up for doing it at the end. And that would be like and subscribe, please. I think we've reached the end of this one. Oh, I've enjoyed this one. This has been the one I've enjoyed most today. I've uh, processed the last sort of 48 hours. I've processed quite a few recordings. And uh, this has definitely been my favourite. Very, very enjoyable. Constant pace. Lots of carnage, not many deaths, learn a new weapon, you know, learn about what that Stug 33 is, never seen that before. Generally enjoyed it. Good battle. So please come back for more. I dare you. I double dare you. And uh, thanks for spending the time with me. for this one. Victory. Glory. And that's what's left. Alright folks. Nice to see you again.